Hello and welcome to this video tutorial brought to you by tutvid.com. Today we're going to take a look at creating draggable masks in Flash using ActionScript 3.0. That's kind of important because you're going to need Flash CS3 or CS4 um, or newer than that if newer has come out when you're watching this video uh, to follow along with this. You need ActionScript 3.0. Alright, and here's basically what we're going to be doing. Taking this nice blurred shape. We're going to go through exactly how to set all this up. Use a little bit of ActionScript and I'm going to hit Control Enter here to oh, make sure I have flash selected control enter and it's going to launch the movie and you can see we can just click and drag we have this nice faded mask that can reveal any of our image below it very very cool we're gonna take a look at how to do all of that and kinda of play around with a couple other little things in action script 3.0 now I don't need this file so I'm gonna close it and we're gonna start a fresh file new we're going to choose Flash File, ActionScript 3.0. Again, you need Flash CS3 or newer to use ActionScript 3.0. Hit OK. We have a blank document now. You may have noticed Adobe Bridge pop in just a moment earlier. Uh, what I have happening here is this is my image, but what I want to do, well, there it goes again. Here we go. I'm going to select this image and I'm going to check out my metadata panel and I can see that it's 600 by 450 so just for the sake of using this image I'm going to change my stage size here in flash to 600 by 450 so I'm going to select it and I'm going to uh, check out my properties panel under the properties section choose edit next to the size and we have got all kinds of document properties we just want to go 600 by 450 you can even set a background color and a frame rate here if you like we're going to stick with white and a frame rate of 30. Hit OK. And there we have it. The next step is to bring up Adobe Bridge again, or you could just go File, Import to Stage, and choose your image. I, however, am just going to drag right from the bridge into Flash. And you can see there it is sitting on stage. To ensure that it is all the way tucked up in that corner with the image selected, I'm going to check out the Properties panel. I'm going to make sure X is set to 0. I'm going to hit Tab, and also make sure Y is set to 0. And there we go, the image is tucked perfectly into that top corner and fits just wonderfully right here on our stage. Next, I'm just going to double click the layer name here in the timeline panel, and I'm going to name this layer IMG. We also want to select this image and go ahead and choose modify, convert to symbol. Note the hotkey F8, really great hotkey, you're going to use it all the time if you don't already. Convert to symbol, movie clip symbol, registration can be the center, it could be the top left corner, doesn't really matter in this case. And I'm just going to name this MC image. I'm going to hit OK. And this will now appear here in my library panel. You can see movie clip MC image. There we go. And this is just the image that gets placed in there automatically when you import an image. Uh, it just gets kind of put in your library. So now that we've done that, uh, let's go ahead and give this an instance name right now before we forget. So make sure you have the image selected. Right here on the properties panel, we have our instance name input field. We're going to uh, call this, actually let's just call it IMGMC. I believe that's what I did in the original. IMG underscore MC is the instance name. All right, now that we've done that, we're going to go ahead and create two new layers. I'm going to drag this up a little bit so you can see what I'm doing. Two new layers. I'm going to name the first one here Mask, and I'm going to name the second one AS for uh, Action Script. Now that we've done that, on the mask layer, I want to draw my mask shape, and this can be anything. Use any of the drawing tools you like. I'm going to go ahead and just use the Polystar tool. Um, now, you may notice the strange name Polystar, uh, and that basically is because this not only creates polygons, but it also can create stars here. If I go to Tool Settings, Style, Star. We're going to stick with the polygonal or polygon shape, I should say. I don't want to go off and try to sound like I'm too smart when I don't know what I'm talking about. So we're going to stick with a polygon. And uh, it can be whatever color you want because the color really is not going to be seen in the end at all. Uh, it's just going to be what you see here in the flash authoring tool. So I'm going to go ahead and draw out a nice polygon like so. Let's select it and just drag it right down here. Not really for any particular reason, just to, you know, matter of fact, I'm going to drag it over here into the dark section. So when we set up the mask, nothing's really going to be revealed until the user starts dragging the mouse. What we want to do now is go ahead and convert this to a symbol as well. Remember that hotkey F8, convert to symbol. I'm going to name this MC 
mask. Again, we're converting this to a movie clip. This is kind of important that we convert this to a movie clip because what we're going to do with action script, uh, you can only really do to a movie clip symbol. So we're going to go movie clip, hit OK. And now that we've done that, we want to give this a, uh, an instance name as well. M or excuse me, not MC. We're going to call this mask. If I can spell mask correctly, underscore MC. There we go. Now that we've done that, we're ready to start uh, using action script. So the first thing we want to do uh, as far as action script is concerned, well, number one, choose the action script layer and then go window actions. Again, note the hotkey F9. Big, big hotkey if you want to stick around and use flash a lot. Uh, it really helps to just be able to pull that actions panel up without having to go up to window actions all the time. I'm going to drag it fully on screen here. And I'm also going to make sure that I have my text set to a size that you guys can see. Set that to about 20. Hit OK. That was off screen, by the way, the OK button. All right, so here on line one, uh, we just want to type something very, very simple. We're talking to the image movie clip. Remember, its instance name is IMG underscore MC. We're going to say, hey, image uh, mask. All right, and, and then we need to say your mask equals what? What is your mask equal? Well, it's going to equal that other movie clip mask underscore MC that is going to be masking the image so the mask of the image equals mask underscore MC uh, before we do anything else let's check this out let's just hit control enter the command return on the Mac and you can see right there we have our shape and we can't see anything